Hello, hello guys, Mr. TC once again back to you for another idea of housing. And today is gonna be all about Christmas time. You know, the most beautiful time of the year. And I will be showing you how I'm making a very nice Christmas chef just in this corner, just right here. And as you may know, when we are talking about screwing something into the wall, we always need to double check. So today I'm gonna be using once again my What About DIY device connected with my phone and I will be showing you exactly what's behind the wall. And keep in mind that this part in our house is where all the pipes and cables are going from the bottom to the top. So it will be very nice to double check this. And as you may understand, What About DIY is also the sponsor for this video. And you know, I keep talking about them because they made a very beautiful device, something that is saving you so much time and so much headache. And at the same time, also saving you some money. All right, as usual, enough talking. Let's make it happen. All right, so for this design, I will be actually using a large piece of plywood. Here, I'm showing you one piece, but I will show you the rest in a few seconds. Then some long wood slat, measuring 2 by 2 cm. And this one will be actually to support the shelves. As you can see. Okay, as I was telling you, this is where the large piece of plywood was coming from. Then to act as a support, I'm gonna add two pallet blocks over the ground to add over them my large piece of plywood. Then I will be clamping a long piece of wood over the plywood and this will help me to trace a line in order to divide them in two. I'm starting by tracing the line in this corner then finishing with the rest. Now it's time to remove the clamps and the support and you can see the line so we can start making the cut before making the cut i'm going to push the wooden block on the side so i'm not cutting through them to make the cut i will be using here my plunge saw and connected with my vacuum cleaner and here we are when they are both cut we should end up with something already looking like a Christmas tree. So now it's time for me to find the perfect pattern in order to know exactly where I can place the shelves. And in order to keep them both together with a 90 degree angle, I will be using here my angle clamps, one at the bottom and the other one on the top. As you can imagine, the top is very pointy. But note that my only goal here is to keep them together while I'm finding the perfect position for the different shelves. And in order to keep a very nice design here, I will try to have one quarter of a circle. I will start by reporting the same dimension that I have at the bottom of the tree on the piece of plywood. Then I will be using also my ruler to trace the line but also to trace the circle. And for this, I will be screwing a part of it in the corner of the plywood, then create the rotation until I reach the other side. Then here we are, with each of them cut and ready to be placed. But before adding them to the design, I've decided to round up a little bit the edges by using my chamfer bit. Then after that, using my disc sander to smooth down the side, to then finish with some sandpaper.
it wasn't really needed, but I've decided to repeat the same process and sewn the triangles. As I will be using some LED lights on the back side, I've decided to create a few holes in order to create a nice lights effect. Then again, using my router to smooth down a little bit the edges with my chamfer bit. And this is a new thing for me, so usually I'm not using spray painting, but I've decided to give it a try this time, just to see how it looks like. And here, to match the Christmas celebrations, I'm doing the tree in black and the shelves in gold. When I'm taking a close look at the black paint, I have to be honest, it's giving a very nice feeling. Then now it's time to create the different support for the shelves using the different slot I've been showing you earlier and removing just one or two centimeters to make sure that they are not too visible. To make the different cuts, I will be using my multi-tool then changing the blade to remove a little bit at the end of each slot in order to make them less visible. Then once again using my disc sander in order to smooth down each side to apply after that a nice wood burning effect. Then applying some wood lacquer. And while everything is drying up, I will be here using some inches that will allow me to close and open the tree shelf as I want, which can also make it much easier when it's time to store them. Alright, here we are. As you can see, you can open and put it at 90 degrees as you want. Now I will be finding the right place in order to attach the support of the shelf on each side. I will be first looking for the right level, clamp them, then attach using my nail gun. Then here we are with each of them fixed. Now adding the different shelves. And in order to fix to the wall, I will be adding on the back and on each side two wooden slats. Then it's time to go back home to find the right placement. As I was telling you at the beginning, this corner here is where all the pipes and the cables are going from the bottom to the top. So in order to avoid drilling into the pipes, I will be again using here my Wallabo DIY. First making the calibration, then when this is done, I will be choosing between concrete or a drywall. And first I will be using the pen mode. This mode should be able to give you a quick panoramic view of your wall. Then moving after that to the image mode, this one is an accurate mode 
giving you a clear view and telling you exactly what's behind the wall. As you can see here, we have pipes, but also a wooden stud. Then the last mode is the expert mode. You begin by moving it slowly in the area where you are looking for an object. And you will see that it will start representing an image looking exactly like a heat map. And you will see on the left side that you have an intensity bar. And this allows you to adjust the sensitivity according to your needs. Then I am moving to the concrete wall. And remember that when you are changing walls, you need to make a new calibration. And for this wall, I will be using the image mode. And as you can see, I do have some cable and pipes here. Which actually makes sense because we have some electricity going in this corner. And this is it, connecting your phone with your device in order to scan your wall. And this is the only thing you need. Can you imagine that? This is it, a wall scanner. I'd like to come back on one information that I gave you last time regarding your wallet board and your wallet case. This is two different purchases. If you are going to the website, this is what you're going to receive. With the cable to connect it to your phone and the wallet case is actually something you will have to purchase and to buy extra. And note that to attach the shelf into the wall, I will be creating some holes inside the different wooden support and before attaching them, I will be adding some LED light on the side, as you can see here. When this is done, I just have to add the shelf into their positions. Then starting with some Christmas decor. Alright guys, I hope that you like it. As usual, it's always nice to share some pretty cool decoration with you. As you can see, it's not much, but something bringing a very nice spirit, a Christmas spirit. As usual, we will be sharing below in the video description a link so you can download the plan, the 3D plan, in order to do it yourself. But of course, you will have to be in our newsletter for that. So just sign up, you know, it's not much. We are sending some very useful information for you. And talking about useful information, pretty soon we will be running a very nice contest where we will be giving away some pretty nice device to you for Christmas, right? It's the perfect period for that. And in this contest, you will be able to win your own Wallapot DIY. So you will be able to scan your all on yourself. Talking about other pretty nice device that we have from some other partners. You will be able to win this as well. I will be giving you much more information about it in one of the next video. So stay posted. So basically what this is about. It's Christmas time, right? So we'll be giving away some pretty cool things to some of the members of our community. But not only the members, because even if you are not members, you can uh, play with us. You can participate and have a chance to win some of the cool products from some of our sponsors. Stay posted on this one because I will be announcing the beginning pretty soon. It's also the period of the year when you are sharing with some friends and family, right? So feel free to check out what the other members of the ATC app are sharing with us and you will be finding a lot of new ideas to decorate your home. Alright, as usual, Mr. ATC for another idea of housing. If you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe just right here and click on the bell in order to receive a notification every time we are sharing new content with you. And I guess that I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>